Welcome, in front of me is a Realme C75 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. So, when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with the screen similar to this one. And all you need to do is just press on an arrow, find your desired language from the list and then click next. Choose your region, which doesn't affect anything as far as I can tell. Then go over some legal information like user agreement, privacy policy. You can tap on the blue text of your details to read exactly what you're agreeing to. And I do want to point out we're selecting next, not agree. So technically we're not agreeing to anything because as far as I know, pressing next doesn't mean agree. Um, in any case, next we have connected to mobile network by inserting a SIM card. So you can do that if you want to. Uh, if you choose to go to the next page, you will also have the Wi-Fi connection page show up. Oh, uh, at least before we do, we have the setup using another device. So if you have a secondary phone, old one, uh, you should probably get some kind of pop-up on there. Let's see if I get anything. Yep, there we go. You get a pop-up like this. And you can just do setup and it will allow you to quickly uh, set up, move over things like your Google accounts and so on uh, with very little effort. But I'm setting it up as new, so I'm going to select skip. And then we can connect to mobile network. Oh, and sorry, off to Wi-Fi. Now I'll be skipping this as well, which means that I'm not connected to any kind of network and therefore I won't have Google login page show up throughout the setup process. Date and time won't be set automatically and I won't be able to restore apps and the data from cloud backup. But going back to this page, we have Google services here like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but it's from Google. So let's be honest, it's not like turning them off will do anything. Next, we have unlocking method uh, and we have three different ways. Uh, password, which contains pin pattern or password, fingerprint and face recognition. Now, if you're planning to use either one of those two, the biometric options, fingerprint or face recognition, you'll always be forced to add a physical way of unlocking the device along with the biometrics as those aren't usually 100% reliable. So in a case where it's not reliable and you can't unlock your device, you'll be left with pin pattern or password. Or alternatively, you don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, and you can just select skip and later, though I wouldn't actually recommend doing so. Next, I've recommended, so we can go over these options right here, uh, toggle them on or off depending on what you want. Click on next. Select your screen display. So here we have just font size, basically. We have default, medium, large. You can tap on it to see the changes. I'm gonna stick with the default. Then choose your navigation style, buttons or gestures. And that finishes up the setup. And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.